Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Biplanes Only Germany. So let's get into it. We are on regular Iron Man mode with historical AI. Okay, we have 100 XP. We'll go for Franz Halder. And that should start grinding 0.3 army XP daily. So we're going to be able to make our tank template out of that. So we've ground out 66 air XP, so let's go ahead and build the plane. Okay, so we're going to build off the Heinkel 51, and let's go ahead and make it uh, engine level 2. So we'll convert from stockpile that a little bit later, and then let's upgrade it with the 2x cannon 1. And then also we could upgrade it with the 1x cannon one and still put this bad boy in the air. The air attack is 30. We'll see how this uh, stacks up against modern fighters. So let's go ahead and save that. Looks like the air experience game for Kessel Ring is the same as Hermann Goering. I'd rather take the 10% air superiority. So we should be able to improve our fighter design quite a bit here. Okay, let's go for survivability studies just to make the biplane here a little bit more survivable. And we can actually upgrade this with drop tanks. And it looks like this is going to make weight exceed thrust. So maybe we can move this down to 2x light machine gun. Okay, that worked. And we're going to get the extra range here or a decrease in attack. But we'll go ahead and refit to that because range does matter for air superiority. We're gonna need quite a bit of range and we'll just keep chugging along with rubber here because we're gonna know, we know that we're gonna need rubber for our plane build. Okay, we're pretty close to converting to our mill ramp here. So let's pick up Walther Funked. We can put the squeeze on Yugoslavia, but I don't think that they'll ever come into war against us. Let's go self-sealing fuel tanks. And that's going to increase the defense quite a bit. And we'll convert to that plane. Okay, this is the tank division that we're going to go for. And it's going to have 10 medium tank regiments, 2 tank destroyer regiments, and 9 truck regiments. We'll eventually scale that into half tracks. But for now, this is what we're going to go with. Okay, we'll also upgrade the Armored Recon Company on the Tank Division template. Okay, so this will be our medium tank build. We'll start getting those into the Division templates. And it looks like the tanks are moving through unhindered. Let's check out the air superiority and let's check out the air superiority modifier if it's going to tell us that. Air support is a 22.6% modifier, so that is huge. We're going to be looking out to get more air bases here. Are we getting bombed by UK? It looks like we are. So the tanks are moving quite quickly. Painting debris, shoot down a certain number of planes within a 48 hour window. Okay, so we just picked up an achievement here. Let's see how many uh, planes we shot down. Enemy fighters lost 70 to our 16. Enemy bombers disrupted 435. So we are shooting down quite a bit of enemy ordnance here. Wow. Okay, so the Poles lost 172. So, so far, the biplanes are working exceptionally well. And they fold. Okay. So, that was pretty easy. Let's see how they're trading over Western Germany here. Battle hasn't been taking place for a month, but we've lost 73 fighters. And they're losing 439. So, incredibly lopsided with the biplanes here. Um, this should be like meta right now until they fix it. Take these guys out of the battle plan and start microing them in there. Okay, the Netherlands joins the allies. Going through them like a knife through butter. 
We will obey the tank treaty, and we got the Netherlands super quick there. Still looking to get out more fighters, surprisingly enough. It doesn't seem like we have enough fighters, like I could definitely use more fighters. And we'll try to get to Sedan. We'll see if we're able to cap France here quickly. Let's check out the air. Okay, they're bombing Western Germany. We don't want that. That's going to affect our logistics. Okay, so this guy wants to get a little frisky. No problem. We'll do a pinning attack that way. So that they're not able to loop around us here. It's like the British Expeditionary Forces there. And you can see the speed on these uh, tank divisions is uh, quite good. Okay, got to Paris. And it looks like there's a bit of a continuation war. Okay, so that's over with. All we needed to do was take Paris. Pretty easy. And still a huge rubber deficit, unfortunately. So let's just get Von Weish over here. Have him go for a port or two. 